You want a little bit of that nipple? Come on, here it is. So I woke up this morning and I had a decision. Normally I wear sweatpants to the gym because I'm afraid people will see my legs and judge me for these tiny little chicken legs. And I knew I was gonna be on camera today because Jensen and I are shooting workout videos for Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook. I'm videoing you, videoing me, videoing Dane. It's getting crazy. What? I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna wear the smallest shorts that I have and I'm gonna hike them up and I'm gonna work out in these shorts because I'm tired of being insecure. I'm tired of letting these body insecurities rule my life, and I decided to shoot a video on it. So in this Mindset Money, I'm gonna tell you some of my other insecurities, and we're gonna share together, and we're gonna empower people to break free. Here it is, let's go. Hey my friend, Drew Canoli here. Welcome to another Mindset Monday got done with an incredible workout and I was thinking how this video might impact you in a really deep way and if you get anything out of this video give it a big thumbs up share it that's how I know you're engaged I'm gonna start choosing people that leave a comment on YouTube and Facebook to win one of my favorite books on this Mindset Monday I was thinking about the power of vulnerability and I've been doing a lot of leadership training lately and I thought maybe you could relate to this I recently did an exercise where I was asked to tell an audience my greatest insecurities physically and I thought back and it really left a lasting impression on me as a kid when children used to pick on me for the size of my head literally I look like Charlie Brown I look like a pumpkin with a toothpick sticking out of it because my head was so big so I developed this insecurity at a really young age and I wanted to grow my shoulders so I just remember doing as many shoulder workouts as possible to overcompensate for the ginormous size of my melon right we do a lot of things as human beings overcompensate. and We turn our biggest insecurities into some of our greatest gifts. Another insecurity I had was the size of my legs. I have little chicken legs right here. No matter, it seems like no matter how hard I lift, no matter how many calf raises I do, I can't seem to get my legs or my butt to grow. And I developed an insecurity around it. Another insecurity I have physically is I have really small nipples. Maybe you've seen them in some of my photos right here. Just tiny little nipples. So I remember being young and kids were like, oh, you don't even have any nipples. And it's so crazy. And it's easy for us to get worked up and think about the insecurities. And those insecurities will kind of overwhelm us and take resonance in our mind and we constantly percolate on them and think. Sometimes you may feel like a hamster on a wheel. Don't stop, keep going and it lowers our energy, it lowers our vibration for what we really want to create. To me, insecurity means in scarcity. So if you want to take any insecurity that you have, get out of scarcity. Start thinking about what you have. So every day I get up and I'm like, I'm thankful for these legs. I'm thankful for the ability to run, I'm thankful for the ability to jump, I'm thankful for the ability to serve each step. I know I'm leading somebody further down the path of their enlightenment, their awakening, their soul's purpose, their desire, and it's outside of me. My legs carry me, it's my heart that leads the way. I'm thankful for these tiny little nipples. I'm grateful for this gigantic head with this brain that allows me to think, that allows me to conceptualize new ideas to truly make a difference in this world. So take your insecurities, get out of scarcity, and develop a gratitude ritual. This has been another amazing Mindset Monday. Thank you for joining me. Leave a comment, give it a big thumbs up, and share it with somebody. Actually, scratch that. Let me know what your greatest body insecurity is. Let's open up. When we open up and we express it, it doesn't hold power over us anymore. And as I always say, remember, we're in this together. It's truer than ever. I'm Drew Canoli. See you next week. Bring it in.